Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a Triceratops from Jurassic World. We're going to be drawing this character from the side. So let's move over to the right side and draw the eye. Starting from the top, we're just going to curve over towards the right and then down. Now on the inside, I just want to curl at the frown line, going out and then up. Now underneath the eyelid, we're going to tuck in the eye. So it's a half circle. Starting from the end, we're going to step in, draw that half circle coming around. Now on the front, we're going to draw a smaller half circle for the pupil and we'll fill that in black. At the bottom corner of the eye, we're just going to draw a curve coming down and then out. Now just above the eye, we're going to draw on the front horn. So let's start with the socket. Starting up here, we're going to curve around then back over. From the top, I want to draw a curve going out and then up towards the tip of the horn. We're going to go to the bottom of the socket and just curve and taper towards the tip. Now we're going to move over and draw on the profile of the head. So underneath this horn, I'm going to curve down and out towards the right. Now I'm going to curve back in the opposite direction, coming in. Now in between these two lines, I'm going to draw another curve just to accentuate the brow. Let's add the right horn in behind the forehead. So from the forehead, we're going to step out underneath this horn, curve out, and then up. Now I'm going to taper that back down in behind the forehead. From the bottom of this brow, I'm going to step over to create an overlap, come down and then curve out towards the right. I'm going to add a socket for another horn, curving in and back out. Now from the top, curve back up with a short curve and we'll taper down towards the bottom of the socket. From the bottom of the socket, I'm going to draw on the beak, curve down and over towards the left. Now I'm going to curve around the top of the mouth. From this point, we're going to hook this back over and then back down. From here, we're going to curve this up. Now I'm going to come down in the opposite direction towards the corner of the mouth. Let's separate out the tip of the beak. From the bottom of the horn, I'm going to curve around and then back down. Let's add in the bottom of the mouth. So we're going to open up the mouth. Starting from this point, I'm going to curve down and curve it over towards the right. Now we're going to taper this back up and in underneath the mouth. Let's add in a tongue. Just up here, we're just going to curve down and over towards the left. From the bottom of the mouth, we're going to work our way towards the jaw. Starting at this tip, we're going to curve out and then just pull that up. Now I'm going to draw almost like a large half circle growing around the corner of the mouth going up. We're going to tuck another horn in behind the jaw. So from here, we're going to step down, curve out, and then down towards the tip. Now I'm going to taper this back up and over. Let's separate out the horn, starting from the top, I'm just going to curve across. In between the horn and the mouth, we're going to add the nostril, so the small hook going down. Now let's move back up and draw in the large armored plate. So we start just above this horn in line with the forehead, curve up and out towards the right. We're going to add a little socket, so a curve going in. Now we're going to work our way around. So from here, I'm just going to curve over and then back up. We're going to add another small socket. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction, going around, and then down. Add another socket. Now we're just going to make our way back around towards this horn. Curving across. We'll add another socket here. Now curving down, aiming towards the horn. We'll add one more socket. And we'll tuck this in behind the horn. Let's add some spikes in these sockets. So we're going to start down here. Starting from the top, I'm just going to curve in towards the center and curve down towards the bottom of the socket. We're going to do the same thing to all these sockets. Now we're going to add some underlying bones underneath this armored plate. So from this spike, we're going to leave a gap right down here. We're going to curve down and aim towards this horn. We're going to do the same thing up here. So leaving a gap, curving around and then down. Do the same thing over here. Leaving a gap, curving over. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Leave a gap, come down and in. And then one final one. Now that we've drawn the head, let's work our way across the body. I'm going to start with the lower part of the neck, 
just behind this jaw, I'm gonna curve down and then over. Now we're gonna do an overlap. We're gonna step back, curve down, and over towards the front leg. Now we're gonna overlap the front of the leg. Stepping back, curving over that line, and then down towards the bottom of the foot. Now let's round out the bottom of the foot. From the front, we'll curve down, and then back up. Now from here, I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction. Going up, and then hooking over towards the right. We're gonna do a little overlap, stepping back, and go out towards the left, and then up. Let's add a couple toes along the bottom of the foot. Starting from the corner, we go up and then down. It's almost like a half oval. Do that again. Maybe one more time. Now the leg in the back, we're gonna have it raised up almost like it's walking. So just underneath the neck, we're gonna curve forward. We're gonna do a hard turn coming down towards the bottom of the foot. Now let's round out the bottom of the foot, going across and then up. Let's add in the toes. From the corner, we go up and then down. We're gonna add two of these. Now we're gonna continue the curve of the body in behind this leg. Go down. I'm gonna pull this up towards the hind leg. Now we're gonna overlap the hind leg. From here, we're gonna step in and up, curve down over that line and then back. We're gonna create a little overlap, curve down towards the bottom of the foot. Now let's round out the bottom of the foot. Coming down and then back up. Now from here, I'm gonna curve out and then pull that up. Now I'm gonna do a hard turn, curving in towards the body. I'm gonna do an overlap here, stepping back, rounding out the back and then going up. Let's add in the toes. Starting from the corner, we're gonna add three toes. Now in between these two legs, right in the center, we're gonna draw on the back leg. So starting underneath the belly, we're gonna curve down and forward, round out the bottom of the foot, and then we'll curve that up underneath the body. Let's add two toes. Now from here, I'm gonna move up and draw on the back going down towards the tail. So we start in behind this armor plate. We start by curving down and then up. We're gonna round out the back, going up. Now I just wanna come around just beside the hind leg, coming down. Now I'm gonna curve in towards the tip of the tail. Just blend this, going back up. Now from the tip of the tail, the tail's gonna get thicker as we come in behind the hind leg. So we'll get wider and then go up. Let's separate out the bottom of the body. From the tip of the tail, we're gonna curve down, just tapering this in behind the hind leg. Now in between these two legs, starting from the left, curve down, back up. Now at the front, we're gonna curve up. Now we're gonna do a hard turn, curving forward and then up underneath the jaw. Let's add some bumps along the spine. Starting at the neck, we'll curve up and down. It's almost like a half circle, leave a gap. I'm just gonna repeat this all the way across the back. Now as we get towards the tail, we're gonna make these a little bit smaller. I'm gonna add a few more down here. And then along the back, we're gonna add some small ovals for the spots. Starting at the back, go up here and draw one slightly bigger. Go a little bit smaller again large and one smaller one right in behind the neck and that's pretty much it there we have it there's a triceratops from jurassic world i hope you enjoyed today's lesson make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon